Hi there, Mr. Ranish. So, uh, you listened to the lecture, you read the thing in the book. Uh, what are the characteristics uh, of a good keyword? Three characteristics of a good word. First one is familiar with that word, which uh, the student should familiar with the, the word that they know they know the word. Uh -huh. And second one, the target word. They have to target the word. Mm -hmm. And third one, the easy, easy to visualize. Okay, the third one's right, the easy yeah. to visualize, right. Okay, super. Um, all right, thank you. Um, so, you got an example from a word from your country, your language? Yeah. Yeah, and uh, use some like kapska with a cop with a cabbage yeah. head. Maybe you can teach me and help me remember uh, a, a word from your language. <laughs> Similar way. Have you thought of one yet? You are. In English, rope. Rope. Okay. So in my language, we call fertilizer. Fertilizer. It's a rope. Yeah, rope, huh? Similar sounding, huh? Yeah. Gotcha. Uh, rope is. Uh, okay. So, so we got the word rope. Very familiar word. Good. Sorry. And um, rope means fertilizer. Ah, yeah. So how can I visualize that? Uh, association's got rope, like a mm, and rope being fertilizer. So I got to make that connection visually, right? How would I do that? That's the challenge. That's a challenge, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you're not, you're not sure, huh? Okay. Well, we got the first two steps, right? Very common word, rope. Yeah, and you get the target word, rope, whatever. Uh, and then, uh, yeah, I'm just make the connection visually. Yeah. So, yeah, can't can't think of one right now. Okay. Super. All right. Okay. Thanks. Okay. Folks, uh, you know what's happening. It's on page 112. The, the question is asking, uh, what's the characteristics of a good keyword? And second, you teach me one of your words in your native language with a visual picture like the cop with a cabbage head, right? Y'all know that's what you're doing, right? It's on page 112. Okay. You ready? Not a problem. Okay. Well, you try your best. I, I am confident. You trust your instincts and your gut? Oh, hi. <laughs> Watching, I'm recording myself. <laughs> All right, have a seat. Let's see what happens. Hi there, Nancy. So, uh, what, are the, what are the characteristics of a good keyword, huh? Yeah, I think that the keyword, choosing the keyword is the first thing you need to familiarize, as needed to familiar with the word. Right. You know very well. Right. And the second one, you need to. This is the keyword you need to sound like the car target word. Right. The third thing, the last one, I think the this keyword should be the to be uh, easy to visualize. Oh, okay. Something easy. like the picture, uh, easy to yes, visualize. Right. Ah, okay. okay. You're absolutely right. Okay. So, um, give it your best shot. Teach me a word. And, uh, it's some, like the, I think the Chinese words are so difficult for not like uh, not uh, something like the English word. English words are the the, uh, the letters the form the one word. Mm -hmm. you know, the whole, uh, the three more or uh, four more. That's a word. Uh, that's a, that's a, uh, something like that. How, how to say this? Oh, letters or characters? Uh, uh, letters, characters. Yeah. But it's the Chinese the. It's one symbol, right, for the whole right. idea. Oh, oh, sure. Well, anyway, well, I, I know you've got a word or a, or a phrase maybe, and the, the sound of it sounds similar to something in English, right? Like, you know, kapska. I don't know how to spell kapska, right? Right. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but he said kapska sounds like cop, and uh, the English word cop, the cabbage head. I'm sure there's something in, in Chinese. There. Chinese words. I see the total is a guy. I cannot do the trick. I cannot oh, describe the for the uh, English words. Oh, um. This is not the not the character and the lighter is the form that's the word. Sure. Oh, I know that. I, I don't need to. I don't need to know what, how it's spelled and all that. And talking about the sound of the word versus the sound of an English word. Uh, for for example, you know, a common English word in, in a, a common English phrase in. in uh, uh, is gung ho. I didn't know if you knew that, right? Gung ho means excited about something, right? Am I right? Gung ho is a Chinese word, right? No? 
Hello, it's a Chinese word. Ni hao. Ni hao. Okay, now you went. Now wait a minute. Ni hao sounds like an English word, maybe. Ni hao. Oh, yeah. Maybe, right? Yeah, hao. So how can I? Hao is the the H A W H A L L is hao is strong. Hall? Oh, H, uh, ni hao, ni hao. Yeah, H A L L, hao. Oh, I got two pictures in my mind. I got the ni and I got the hall, right? Oh, okay, so okay. how can I visualize <laughs> hello yeah. and, uh, and ni hall? I don't know. You could think of a way for me to visualize that, maybe? <laughs> yeah, some, uh, some, some, some people is going into the hall. Sure. And needed to welcome that. Uh, Nihao, it's hello. <laughs> <laughs> that's a good start. See that? That's the idea. I just picture oh, yeah. friends in a hall uh, saying hello. Fine. That, that's that's the idea. That's okay. what we were looking for. <laughs> Fine. All right. Thanks, Nancy. Okay. Thank, thank you. you. All right. You're all set. Yeah. Um, What's that? Deja vu, he knows. We have to use another one. Yeah, yeah. Uh, creativity. Remember, kopska is not an English word either, but it's not one part of it sounds like cop, right? Uh, and if, if I don't found no one, I'm sure you, you can. Have to. I'm sure you can. Yeah, you have to, right. Don't worry about it. Go and have a seat. If you finished with both parts, go and grab one of these papers here. Uh, we, we hopefully will have a chance to watch everybody else right now. You can do it. I believe in you. Hi. Hello there. So let me make sure you're in, in picture here. So it doesn't listen. Oh no, you want me to cover it up? No, no. Yeah. Okay. You seriously? Okay. So this is Selena. There you go. Okay. So Selena, what are the characteristics of a good keyword, huh? Uh, the characteristics of the good keyword that it should be familiar. Uh, it should be familiar to you. The mm -hmm. word should be familiar to you, and it should sound like the targeted word. Right. And it should be easy to visualize. Fantastic. That's what we're looking for. Okay. So example from your language. Teach me, hit, make me remember. Okay. In our language, snake. Mm. It's called sap. Sap. Yeah. Right. So, sap, you can connect it to sharp. Ah, okay. Because snake is also straight. I mean, it can curve, but it's it's uh, like a line. Oh, okay. Like sap sounds rope. like sharp. Sharp, because it's very sharp. It's dangerous. Oh, oh okay. Even a sharp knife is dangerous. Oh, and a, and a teeth, Even the yeah. snake is dangerous. Sure. Oh. Okay, very good. I can picture, like, visualize it. You were talking about like being, it being uh, straight up and down, yes. like a like a like a knife or something. Yes. But it's actually soft, right? Yes. It sounds similar snake. to sharp. Oh, okay. Yes. That's a good example, right? I just picture a dangerous snake, like a knife, right? Yes. Okay. Good example. That's what we needed. That's as simple as that. Okay. You're done. Okay. <laughs> you can grab one of those papers there, and uh, we'll. Uh... All right. Who's next? You want to try again? All right. Give it a shot, Mr. Pop. All right. So. All right. Hi there, Mr. Fahad. So, um, characteristics of a good keyword. One more time. Try that again, okay? Yeah, it's uh, three steps. The first one, uh, you're familiar with it. Mm -hmm. And the second one uh, is going to be like uh, at least the first part of the target word. Or it sounds like the target word. Mm -hmm. yeah, the third one uh, should be something... Uh, to picture it, to uh, so visualize. Easily picture, easily visualize. Good. Yes. All right. Good. So, what's your example? And make me remember, okay? Yeah. Delight. Delight. Yes. In Arabic, we call it lamba. Lamba. It starts with the ah. same letter. But it means happiness or delight, right? No, light. Oh, the light. Ah. Lamba. Lamba, yeah. Ah, okay. It starts with the both. All right. Those are two words. And how do I make that connection? Go ahead. Yeah. Uh, L. The L. The L? Yeah. So the word Lambert. Uh, Lambert. Lambert, yeah. Lambert. Lambert. Okay. It sounds like an English word, maybe? Yes. Like. Uh, the, I mean, the first part. Sure. Well, what is it then? I mean, tell me, tell me more. What it, lam sounds like light. Lam. Oh, L. Lambert yeah. and L. Light. Yes. Oh, okay. Um, all right. It, we're looking for some, okay. That's not bad. <laughs> la Lambert, la light. But actually, I need to. Is there something I can visualize, picture, like maybe, for example, lam. Also, sound Lambert. Uh, sound, lam sounds like maybe lamb. You like the sheep, right? I take this sheep and I visualize in my head. Uh, <laughs> but it's gotta be a light, right? <laughs> mm. 
uh, a sheep with a light bulb in his mouth. Light, right? Then I can visualize that, right? That's what I was looking for, okay? Uh, good, good, good try, good try, okay, all right, thank you. Want me, want me to cover it up? Yes. All right, no problem. All right, this is Ms. Roseman. Howdy, howdy. So, uh, characteristics of a good keyword, go ahead, yeah. Like first we have to choose a keyword, mm -hmm. and then we have to uh, like uh, we have to make sure it sounds similar, mm -hmm. and then we have to visualize like we have to visualize both right. characteristics. Okay, uh, uh, it has a similar sound, and you can visualize it. And the first one really was that it's a uh, yeah, choose a word that's. Um, yeah, pretty. Similar, that is similar and which is visualized. Yes, all right, right, right. Yeah, and of course that first part was a, a very common word, easy to yeah. remember. Oh, that's fine. All right, your example from your language, uh, make me remember. It's, uh, bunka. Bunka. Bunka is fan. Fan, all right. So, bunka, is, that's a uh, punk. In bunka, you can hear the first word, punk. Yeah, punk. And fan has like three, punk is wings. Ah. So, the fan has like three wings. I which see. Gives you a, yeah. So you can remember fan yeah. with the wings and punk, punk ka. Oh, okay. Well, okay. Of course, in English, the word wings is a different sound than bunk, right? Mm -hmm. Is there maybe a, a word in English that sounds like bunka? Maybe a uh, bi. Bunka. Ba bunka. I beg your pardon. Yeah, bunka. No, it kind of sounds like that sound, the sound of wings, right? Bunk, 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 mm. bunk, maybe, I don't know. You can hear the sound of the fan also. Maybe, yeah, that would work, so right? You can so what do I visualize? Visualize punk going on and fan going. It gives you, yeah, it makes noise, fan makes noise. Okay, right? okay, you, you were on the right track. <laughs> there you go. Sure, sure, yeah, visualize a fan going bunk, 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 and I can remember bunka. Bunka, yes. Okay, I'll never forget. Okay, <laughs> thanks. Thank you. Appreciate it. Are you, oh, okay. So go first. I'll go after. You go after her. All right. Hello, hello. Oh, no, it's okay. All right. Oh, let me, let me share. So, Miss Ag, what's the characteristics of a good keyword in your words? A good key. I mean, um, is that the key that should sound like a target word? Right. And is that the should be very easy to understand? Right. Thing or like you know it's very well. Right. Yeah, that's true. And um, oh, it was the third part. It was about uh, it being visualizing it, right? Yeah. Okay. Well, okay. Your example from French. I know this is a challenge. It's fun. It's fan. Fun. Fun and fun is like you are a magician and I'm fun. I mean, I'm fun. Oh, okay. Well, with the French word is what? It's fun. Fun. And mm -hmm. hey, what does and it mean? Oh, I'm sorry. I'll, I'll be quiet. <laughs> I'll be quiet. Okay, that's fine. Fun is like, I'm fun of you. In French. Yeah. Fun is like, I'm fun of you. Yeah. Did you know that in English also, that a person that loves a, an entertainer is also, that the same, we have the same word. <laughs> you didn't know that. Okay. Yeah, we, uh, I'm a fan of radio. F A N, yeah. English. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's, it's an French English word, right? Oh, oh, wow. Okay, you didn't know that. Oh, well, not a problem. Let's let's just imagine that's not an English word. No, don't be discouraged. That's okay. Oh, okay. Yeah, tell me your visualization strategy. Yeah, yeah. that's fine. Go ahead. I visualize a fan, right? Yeah. Like, I mean, there's a connection somehow. Person that loves a celebrity and a fan, right? Yeah. Maybe. What should I visualize in my head, right? Like, um, like what you mean by what you visualize? Well, like for example, you got the word, you know, cop and uh, cabbage. You know, you, I put them together in a crazy way, like a cop with a cabbage head, and somehow maybe I could put together a, a fan, a person who loves an artist, right? And uh, a fan, right? <laughs> Uh, I'm already disturbed because you said me it's French, it's English word. So well, <laughs> forget I said that. It's okay. I'm just I didn't I should have told you afterwards. I'm sorry. Yeah, but, uh, not a big deal. Good way to remember it though. Yeah, it's like um, maybe yeah. What were you gonna say? So a fan is a person that likes a uh, musician. Yeah. Right. Something in entertainment. But it also means. It's, it also means fun. Right. In English. So let's see. The connection could be. I don't know. 
it's difficult to connect to. Sure. It's, or it's kind of, it sounds kind of like crazy to, to connect to the book. Well, that's the idea, right? He said the the image should be ridiculous looking, right? Yeah, like it's a really with it. So maybe like, I uh, picture these people that love the celebrity and they're like we are in the podium right now, you know. Yeah. I'm the fan of an art people, and you see the fan is like sound like crazy. <laughs> okay. Oh, the, the, sa the fan sounds like something crazy. Well, or I could picture someone who loves uh, uh, Tom Cruise and he's got a, uh, a fan for a face, right? No, that's, that's, that's ridiculous, right? That's really good. That's, that's, that's what they really were looking for. Okay, give it a nice try. By the way, that's, that's an English word. You didn't know that. Oh, that's okay, no problem. No problem. Yeah. Alrighty. You ready? Yes, ma'am. Come on up here. Alright, you thinking of one, too? Yeah? Oh, good. You're feeling confident? You want to go after her? All right. No, I was talking to uh, a Asia. Yeah. All right. Hello there. Um, hey there. So, um, uh, uh, so Nahid. Got it. Yes. Uh, what are the characteristics of a good keyword, huh? Like familiar word with like a student. Have a familiar word to like you know remember. Mm -hmm. And choose target word. And third one, easy to visualize. It's easy to visualize. And it's a uh, it's a very common word, right? Cool. And uh, familiar words. Right. That's very good. And target words to memorize. Yeah, it's easy to visualize. Two yeah. target words. And re really, the third one is that they have the same sound too. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. So, an example from your language and help me remember visually, like the policeman with the cabbage head. I don't know. Something you can. Write. In our language, one word is bold. Bold. bold means to speak. Speak. Ah. Speak. When we talk, we say bold. bold. Speak. So, like in English, we connect like that. Ball. Ball. Ah, ball. Ball. Right. And our mouth is like ball. I see. So I should picture in my mouth. In my mind. What do I picture in my mind? Huh? Like a, a ball in someone's mouth. Is that what you're saying? I said ball. You're right. It's like connected in, our, in English, ball, the one right. which we play with ball, That's round, good. Good. and our mouth is mouth, like round. Oh, it's round like a ball. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay, gotcha. So I can picture in my mind. Someone taking a ball out of his mouth and speaking, maybe, or mm -hmm. something? Okay, well, that, that's kind of what we're looking, that's what we're looking for. Kind of a silly image. Ball, ball. Hey! Okay. So that, you can visualize this word like ball. Yes. In our language, we say ball means to speak. Gotcha, ball. Yeah, and that's, uh, that's a verb, too, huh? Gotcha. Yes, All right. Okay. Well, that's a good example. Super. Thanks. That's it? Yeah, you are, you are done. Yeah. Okay. You can grab one of those. Yeah. Okay, uh, all right, Ms. Ms. Asiya, let's hear from you. Yeah. Okay. So, hello, hello. Uh, so, what are the characteristics of a good keyword, according to the lecture? We have three characteristics. Mm -hmm. uh, the first characteristic is, uh, is worth that you know very well, right. or familiar, or common word for you. Yeah. The second characteristic, characteristic is a word uh, that sounds uh, like a target word. Fantastic. And you are trying to remember that word for part of its first part, or second part of that word. And the third characteristic is a word you you should be um, you should be something uh, something that is uh, it's worth that should be something that easy for uh, for imagine or picture. Oh, okay, easy to imagine, easy yeah, to picture. Easy, easy to imagine or picture. Fantastic, good. You got them all. Nicely organized uh, statement there. So you've got a a word. Yes, yeah. I want to teach you one. Fantastic. Word. All right. Uh, uh, it's what sounds Malako. Malako. All right. It's mean milk. Milk. Right. And <clears throat> you want to try remember. Uh, you want to try to remember. And you can try uh, remember two parts of that word. First part, mole. Mole. Do you know mole? Mole. Like a stone? Yes. yes. Okay. Ah, okay. And second part of that word, core. Core. Or 
car. In English, car. Okay. Do you know car? It sounds similar to a car. Mar, a mall, and a car. Okay. No, no car. Car. C A W. Car. 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 Do you know car? C A W. Well, that I know that's the sound of a bird going car, car. You know. No. Oh, okay. Car. C A W. C O W. Cow. Cow. Yes. Oh, oh, all good with the milk. Yes. And can you? Milk cow. Yes. Can you imagine? You you want to come? Ah, you you came to the mall, and when you go to the mall, suddenly you see one car. She's walking on the mall. Yeah. And can you imagine a car? Uh, that that walking on the mall. Oh, the cow walking in the mall. Cow, yes. yeah. Cow that walking. All right. The mall. Gotcha. And can you imagine? Can you? Can you yes, I picture that in my mind. Yeah, I got it. Yes. Mall. Cow. Mall. Mall. Yeah. Uh huh. Yes. Mall and car. Yeah. Mall and car. Yeah. Uh, um, so the okay, the mall and there's a cow, mm -hmm. but and it's the the Russian word is uh mall? Ma malka. Mall. Mall. Molokka. Three words. Ah, Molokka. Oh. Well, I got two of the sounds in there. That's fantastic. So I can remember that. Yeah, a picture of a cow walking through the garden. And of course, a cow has milk, right? Yeah. That's the idea. That's what we were looking for, right? Do you remember? Oh, yes, I remember. Yeah. Molokka. Yeah. Is that it? <laughs> all right, all right. Very good. And now you know two words in Russian. Because kapusta this Russian word too. Kapus? Kapusta this Russian word too. Oh, I gotcha. It, oh, so it's not it's a Turkish word. It's also a Russian word, huh? No, Turkish. Hungarian. Hungarian. My bad. I'm yes. sorry. Yes. Uh -huh. Ah, I didn't know that. Kapusta. And, and, you know, and, and now you know kapusta. It's okay. mean cabbage. And second word you know malako. Malako. It's mean milk. Ah, well, great. Well, if I visit Russia, I'll, I'll, I know what to eat now. I can only eat cabbage and milk because I can. That's the only two words I know. So. <laughs> Malaka. Thank you, that's a good example. Great. As you said. Great. Alright, who else wants to go next? You want to, uh, you're looking at me? Yes. Uh, who do we have left? Cookie, Sadat, and uh, those two people back there. Okay. Howdy, what are the what are the characteristics of a good keyword? Uh, characteristic of uh, it sounds like uh, a great uh, target word, mm -hmm. uh, easy to visualize. Uh -huh. uh, it is familiar to a student who wants to learn a, a new vocabulary. That's what I right. so Familiar to me. Fantastic. Those are the three. Great. Now, a word from your language. Help me visualize and remember. Uh, smile. Smile. When I learned this uh, word, uh, I immediately relate it uh, by uh, an alphabet in Arabic. Mm -hmm. Like uh, this is an, uh, this is uh, an alphabet in Arabic. <laughs> that that's a character, like a letter, huh? Yes. It looks like a smile. Yes. It was uh, related to this uh, letter, and uh, I um, I memorized. Uh, I remembered uh, this word. As long as I write this uh, letter. What is the name of that letter? Uh, T. T? Yes. Okay. So you'd say that, that that's the name of it in your language, yes. right? You would yeah. say it, you would say T, like, yeah. like the letter T, right? But, uh, yes, it is not a... Uh, it is not a... Uh, it's not the same uh, thing. Same in pronouns and pronunciation, but... The name uh, of the letter. Yes, ah, the name you. of the letter. But I can uh, picture it like uh, a face uh, who smile. Oh, okay. So how can I? So I know the letter T, and I also know T, like drinking tea, yeah. right? And I and I know what a s and it looks like kind of a smile, right? How can I uh, help me as an American think uh, make the connection with the word T, letter T, and a smile, uh, put them together? What can I visualize in my brain, maybe? Uh, you, can, you can picture it like this: two oh. eyes and a uh, big uh, mouth. Okay, it, you, you, have, you have fantastic imagery here. I can remember that. That's the letter T. Yes. Let me help you. Maybe I could say I could visualize a person drinking tea and you're like, mmm, it's yummy. <laughs> ah. <laughs> so, see what I'm saying? Yeah. Tea, and that's the name of it, and the smile. All right. Okay. That, that, that's what, that was the last, yeah, yeah, the last part. You see what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, I know. That's good. Good example. Oh, you have something else that I want to say? No. Okay, good. You're, you're, yeah, it's a good try, uh, good try, man. All right, thanks. All right. Hey there, Miss Cookie. Good morning. Good morning. Yeah. 
Not such a good morning, I can tell, right? Yeah, it's a rough. <laughs> All right, so what are the characteristics of a good keyword? Huh? It's a three characteristics. The, the first one is the, the word that you know very well. Right. The second one is the, it sounds like the word that you want to remember. Fantastic. And the third one is the, it's easy to imagine. Fantastic. That's what we need. All right, good. So a word from your language and you try to make me remember, okay? It's rock. Rock? rock. Yes. It's solid. Lucky. Oh, it means lucky. No, it means love. Oh, it means love. Uh, oh, I got you. Rock. Rock, yes. Rock. Uh, but it means love. Okay. So, how do I, yeah, explain to me more. How do I make that connection between rock and love, right? Yeah. Huh? Oh, uh, yeah, uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Um, what should I picture in my mind and visualize and all that? Yeah, tell me. So, rock. Rock. You mean the meaning? Oh, I know the meaning. You told me it's, it means love, right? Yes. Yeah. Um, does the word ra does that sound like an English word, maybe? Yes, because it sounds like luck, lucky. Luck? Ah, oh, okay, gotcha. So, yeah, so what should I visualize and picture in my mind with the word luck and, and lucky. love? Yeah, love, lucky. It's yeah? luck. Oh, would you tell me, how would I make that connection between lucky and love? How would I, how would I what, 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 what could I do to, to remember that, maybe? I mean, uh, visualize in my head, right? Yeah, you now. can remember lucky, lucky mm -hmm. and then you can adapt to rock, just only one word. I hear you saying, well, you, you've got the first two steps right. I, the lucky is a very common word in English. It sounds like uh, uh -huh. rock. rock. Good. And I, uh, and I now do the <coughs> connection. Of course, lucky doesn't mean love, right? But I can make that connection somehow. Maybe I can picture in my head a, a young man who is, you know, is in love, right? And he's like, I am so lucky, right? I can just picture him saying, I am so lucky. Luck, rock, right? Is that, is that what you're trying to say? Yes. <laughs> Something I had to visualize, right? Well, you've got a good start with that connection, yeah. Word that sounds like a target word. Actually, rock also is like a stone, you know, like a rock. That's what it sounds like to me, actually. Oh, really? Yeah. Actually, it's spelled R A K. R A K. Ah, R A K. Rock. And you pronounce it rock, right? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Cool. Cool. Sure. It sounds kind of like luck. Yeah. Sure. Sure. Cool. But anyway, that last step of the visualization, I might picture some some young man or some young woman saying, I'm so lucky, you know, right, or something like that. Or, anyway, that, that was the last part. Okay, thanks, you're finished. You can just grab one of those papers and go watch the TV show next week. A few minutes. Who is up next? Huh? All right, hey, Mr. Bonder. Hi, how are you? Welcome, welcome. I'm doing well, brother. Yeah, thank you. Hey. So, uh, characteristics of a good keyword. There is three steps actually. Good. Tell me yeah. more. Yeah. First one, it is uh, it uh, it's a word you uh, you know very well, <laughs> right? Uh, you real uh, familiar familiar mm -hmm. familiar uh, with it. Yeah. Uh, that's a good step. Uh, it uh, word that sound like the target. Right. Uh, <coughs> word uh, with it. Yep. The third word, uh, th the third step uh, for characteristic is good uh, keyword. Uh, it is. Uh, should be uh, something uh, that easy to uh, visualize, visualize Very good. Uh, easy to picture. Very good. All right. So your example, try to make me visualize or remember okay. one of your words, okay? There is an Arabic shatter. Shatter. Shatter, yeah. There is an Arabic shatter. Shatter meaning in Arabic, meaning in Arabic, uh, divided two pieces. When I, see, uh, I, 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 when I see the, when I hear the shatter, I see the bus, you know, shuttle. Ah, yeah. It's a shuttle. Yeah, when I when I when I go to the bus, I see uh, two uh, two uh, two side, right and uh, uh, left. Yeah. 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 This when I see the shuttle, I, I think it for the picture my mind a bus and yeah, it's divided bus. into two sides. Yeah. Ah, and it sounds meaning, like meaning, Yeah, meaning is shuttle, meaning Arabic is divided to uh, two uh, two pieces. Fantastic. That's what we're needing. Yeah. Picture sounds like yeah. the word shuttle. Yeah. That's what we're needing. Okay. Fantastic. And by the way, you know, it's, it, the word is shatter, right? Yeah. The, an Arabic shatter. Shatter. Yeah. Not shuttle. An English shatter. Oh, I know. Yeah. Uh, by the way, you know, actually, uh, the word uh, shatter, which you just said, actually is an English word too. 
Also, yeah, yeah, believe me, believe me. Uh, your your example is fantastic, Thank much you. better than what I'm thinking. The word yeah. shatter. If I go to that window and I break it in little tiny pieces, I shatter the window. Yeah, the same in Arabic. Oh, okay, but it means in Arabic divided in two pieces. Yeah, two pieces. Ah, uh, it's a little different meaning. Gotcha. Yeah. Okay, but th that's a good way to remember this side and that side. Exactly. Fantastic. Good job, man. Thank you. One hundred percent. Thank you so much. Great. All right. Uh, who is next? Who is left? I got everybody. Oh, Mr. Sadat, you're the last one. Actually, yeah, Mr. Ricky's the last one. <coughs> All set? All right. How are we doing on time? Not bad, not bad. All right. Howdy. What? Mr. Jenner, thank you. Yes, sir. Thank you. So, um, characteristics of a good keyword. Yeah. I choose the fault. In English, but you know, there's uh, without hair on the. Oh, good, good. Yeah, you're going to tell me your example. Okay, but um, the first part from the lecture, uh, oh. he, he explained uh, characteristics of a good keyword. There were three things, right? Yeah, three things. Uh, what are that again? Um, Actually, I did done it right. Oh, you didn't write that down? Okay, okay. all right. I didn't write it, but I, I, I can remember. But, sure. Uh, let me try. <laughs> sure, no problem. Three characters, and I know. Easily, easily individual. Yeah, easy, visualize, right? Yeah. The, the one, choose keywords. Mm -hmm. the keyword meaning. It's okay. I can't remember, but it's true. <laughs> My my answer is was to. Well, that was that was the big part. It was easy to visualize. You're right. Yeah. yeah. Uh, and also, sounds like. The, it's like it's similar, right? It's similar. Uh, yeah, and and the, the key word for me is very familiar. To, familiar. Yeah, very very common word. Okay, yeah. let's get to your example. All right, you're gonna teach me a, a word. Example. I chose the bald. 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 Yeah. Without hair on the right. head. Uh, right. And for example, to imagine you 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 are in the Amazon. You know, mm -hmm. Forest Amazon is very dangerous. Yeah, uh, you want to trip in the Amazon, you survive, uh, uh -huh. and you go to Amazon, and suddenly uh, you realize there are there are some people or animals, but you can't figure out. Uh, it's very dangerous. You you feel very dangerous. Okay, and they are run after of you, uh -huh. and you realize they are not animals. They are people. Uh -huh. uh, you know Indians. <laughs> Okay. Is the <laughs> right. Uh, classic time. And, uh, right. Uh, what? In this, uh, and they run after you. Mm -hmm. Percy, they want to hunt you. Yeah. They want uh, your scalp. <laughs> they want yeah. to cut yeah, off my scalp. Rip off your scalp. Uh, and uh, there's uh, X. X. A X E A X E. Uh, eggs like uh, eggs. like yes. from a bird. Oh no, no. there are eggs on the. Oh, an axe. Yeah, axe. Yeah. Eggs eggs, on, yeah. on their hand. Yes. Because uh, uh, they want to uh, rip off your scalp. Yes. They take off your scalp. Yes. Uh, and uh, eggs meaning in Turkish is balta. Balta. Yes. Oh. Yeah. I get it now. You get it. It's balta. Balta is, is axe. Uh, Balta is X. Yeah. And the word reminds me of if, no hair. Yeah, Bal. if you are catcher, they use uh, their Balta X axe and yeah. slip off your scalp. Okay, wow. No, that, that's a, yeah. You will uh, change to become bald. <laughs> bald. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. No, no skin, not, not just no, <laughs> no hair. Skin. No good example. Kind of like, but this Very vivid, image. good yeah, uh, example. Right? Common word that I'm familiar with, bald, right? Yeah. And an image I can picture in my mind, and it's connected with yeah. balta. When I was yeah. child study some English, and this one uh, story is coming uh, from my childhood. Oh, oh. Yeah. oh, so that was actually something to help you remember the word yeah. ball, yeah, yeah, yeah. huh? Or a something. Kind of, <laughs> a kind of method of studying English. Oh, so you use the, this method yeah, sort of yeah, to. Yeah, yeah. Very good, you made it backwards for yeah. me. Ah, okay. Good, I pictured in my head a bald head and an axe in a hand in the same yeah. picture. Oh, that's great. Great example. Great example. Yeah. Good. Yeah, you're done. You're done. Finished. Okay. Ricky's still finishing up, I think. Uh,